Sony. What the fuck? So, do you expect to get a PS5 this spring? Or this June? Well, don't think you'll get it. Because scalping is still an issue. And, and it's really hard to get the computer parts. And there was a factory that manufacture that was manufacturing computer parts and the PS5. There was a fire there. And a ship sank, shipping all the PS5s. If the shortage is in it bad enough. And there's a pandemic going on. And more people are bored. They want to pl they want a game console. And there's scalping and there's a pandemic. And because it's harder to manufacture manufacturing computer parts and other stuff. That's why those are the three reasons why the PS5 and Xbox Series X is hard to get right now. It's ba many companies like Apple and Samsung are having trouble with their new products. So it's not only new consoles, but new phones and new laptops. It's harder to get the computer parts to get the stuff to get to sell out consoles and phones and computers and other stuff. It's harder to get now because it's harder to manufacturing to manufacture those types of stuff. So the Biden administration is doing something about the computer parts. They are doing something a little bit, but that's not really their priority right now, which I that that's a little understandable because they got a pandemic, they got the economy to work on, they got they got climate change and they got other stuff to deal with. So I can understand that. Those are a lot more important than video games, but this is this isn't a political channel like David Pakman in A Ring of Fire. This is a video game and movie channel. We talk about news and other sorts of things. The Xbox Series X is still... Is doing better. Like, they're doing better than the PS5 right now. Like, they're doing game passes. They're doing backwards compatibility and other sorts of things. So... The Xbox Series X is doing better. They are, but they're not great. They're doing a little better, but not good. Like, their games are $10 cheaper than the PlayStation 5. They're still $60, while the PS5 is $70. Games are $70. So, the Xbox Series X are doing something even. They're doing a little better than the PS5. They have better leadership. Than the PS5. But they're not doing great though. Like Sony. Is really having. Leadership problems. Like serious leadership problems. Like. 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 Not like. With specific CEO. Like who's in charge of all the PlayStation stuff. Is Jim Ryan. And. Jim Ryan. Like isn't a, a corrupt man like he doesn't mistreat his employees but he's making a lot of dumb decision one i don't like jim ryan's an idiot he's a dumbass number one is he rejects older games like like he doesn't want to put ps1 games or ps2 games on the psn store like old ps1 games like gran turismo or other classic PS1 games or Twisted Metal or anything. They won't they won't put they won't put those on the PSN store. Well with the PS3, which the store is gonna shut down soon, and the PS Vita and all those other things, 
they have a store where they put PS1 games. They have they have the original Crash Bandicoot, Final Fantasy VII. You can download these off the PS3 or or if you have PlayStation Vita, download those games. And they're shutting down those stores, even though I don't know why they're doing that. Even though they're a big corporation and they can keep those stores open. And that's one thing Jim Ryan's doing that we don't like. Number three, they're doing a, another remaster of The Last of Us. Even if the PS5 can play The Last of Us Remastered back in 2014. The Last of Us was originally a PS, a late PS3 game in 2013, and then a year later, it got remastered on the PS4. The PS5 is backwards compatible with PS4 games, so why would we spend, like, $70 on a game that came out in 2013, 2014, and spend seventy dollars on that, while we can play the original The Last of Us, which is already backwards compatibility. Like this is the reason why Alpha Dream went out of business. Like it was a second party company with Nintendo, like that makes games exclusive on Nintendo consoles, and they made the Mario and Luigi, Luigi games. Bowser's Inside Story is an awesome game. It's one of my childhood games. It's it's a fantastic game. It's a funny, hilarious I love the humor. I like the gameplay. I like the the battle system. I like everything's great. But they remastered it on the 3DS. E even if the original game was back was backwards compatible with you can you could still play the original on the 3ds so why would you remaster it on the 3ds why can't you put it on the switch you know what i mean and the game sold like shit and the game killed alpha dream alpha dream just made so much dumb business decisions like like there are other games that Sony could remaster, like, they could remaster the original Uncharted or the Twisted Metals and all, all those other games. They can do that. They remastered Shadow of Colossus, like, on the PS3 and on the PS4. Like, they could remaster the original Uncharted from 2007. They can do that. But someone actually did plan at Sony... That wanted to make a Uncharted 1, the original, Drake's Fortune. They did re want to remaster it, but they cancelled it. Like, Jim Ryan's like, nope, we need a Last of Us remaster. Even if it's backwards compatible on the PS5. You can play on the PS5, so let's do that. That's a dumb... That's one of the... A dumb... That's something that a dumbass would come would come up with. Just like Nintendo, Sony has a list of franchises that they can bring back. Like, they could make another Ico, and they could bring back Twisted Metal. Like, they have a good amount of franchises that they could bring back, like Nintendo does. Like, they have Wario Land, they have Eternal, Dark <coughs> Eternal Darkness, I burped here. I birthed again, even though Nintendo didn't make the game, they published it. They have Golden Sun, Advance Wars. Like, they have a list of, Nintendo has a bargain bin of franchises they never use. And also, Jim Ryan wants more cinematic, story-driven games with 20 minute cutscenes like they want more the last of us they want more horizon spider-man more massive story driven games like what happened to more basic games like there are, there are some people that just want a basic game to play like they don't want 
They rely on third parties to do that. To make more basic games, like... They, like... Like, Sony had Twisted Metal, where it's more of a... Vehicles jerk duking out with, like, there's ice cream truck with missiles and nukes and other stuff, like... They need more basic games. Like, they do have Gran Turismo, yeah. But they need they need more basic games, like platformers or something like that. They need more of those games. Not, like, Sony relies on big budget, critically acclaimed, cinematic open world games like Spider-Man and Horizon. Like, well, those games are great. But we need... We need we need basic stuff like bring back kill zone bring back resistance bring back twisted metal like god of war from 2018 that like maybe be, make another basic god of wars more just that's just hack and slash and that's it maybe make a hack and slash similar to god of war like, Jim Ryan wants more complicated games, more story-driven. There are some people out there that wants more basic games. Like, like platformers or car arena games like Twisted Metal. They want more basic games. Also, Jim Ryan is ignoring scalpers. Like, they're not, he's not doing anything. He's just, I don't care as long as I make money. Like, no one, no one has a PS5. No one does. Because people, some, some stupid people are hoarding them. They're spamming, spamming people. Like, like, don't buy from a scalper. Like, they, they scam you to buying a brick for like two thousand dollars or seven hundred dollars and people scam you into buying a piece of paper that has a picture of the PS5 and PS5s that don't work or something like that. Don't buy from a scalper and they don't deserve money at all. Because online shopping is more prevalent and they're not reaching out for online retailers to do something about it. Like, like, they didn't, like, Jim Ryan's not going on the phone with eBay. Hey, hey we, we need to talk about this PS5 scalping situation. He's not, he's not doing anything about the PS5 scalpers at all. Jim Ryan is an idiot. Like we need a we need a better CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment. Like we need a better person for the PlayStation stuff. Like we need a better we need we need a better leader. That's what we need. But there is some good news is that Sony's announcing new IP is new, uh, announcing new IPs, like brand new IPs. So that that's good. Also, like Days Gone is a well liked French, well a well liked game back in twenty twenty back in twenty nineteen. Like Days Gone, it was an open world zombie apocalypse game. I haven't played it. I'm 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 been biz. I I'm poor. I have a job now, so. Maybe I'll get around to playing it, so that's cool. I remember the day where it, when it came out. Around the, the game came out the same day as Avengers Endgame. People went to see Endgame. Then, pe then they got to play Days Gone. Good, good little memory of mine. The game got a 71, only got 71% on Metacritic. The game only got a 7 out of 10. Like on 6, 7, 6 out of 10s. It got pretty average reviews. But, but the, but people like audiences, gamers who just play video games really enjoyed the game. And Jim Ryan's was like, no, I don't want to make a sequel on the PS5. Because it only got a 71 Metacritic, so 
I'm not making a sequel to that game. <sighs> Jim Ryan, seriously? Like, critics' reviews aren't everything. You idiot. Like, you, you shouldn't... You shouldn't do any leadership roles, like, at all. Like, I don't, I don't judge a movie based on its reviews. Like, I, or a game on its reviews. Like, I can like a movie that only has a 30% Rotten Tomatoes, and I can enjoy it. And I can enjoy a game that has, like, a 54 on Metacritic, and I can enjoy it. Also, with console wars, like with Nintendo versus Xbox or PlayStation, this isn't a cheerleading channel. Like, like I don't like I don't do Nintendo's better than Sony and Microsoft. Sony's better than Microsoft, or Microsoft's better than Sony, or PC's better than consoles. Like both PC and consoles have their strengths and weaknesses, and. I'm one of those guys. If Nintendo screws up, I'll 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 give I'll crap I'll give them crap for that. If Nintendo does something good, I'll give them thumbs up. I'll praise them. If Sony screws up, I'll give I'll give them slack for that. If they do, if Sony does something good, then I'll give them thumbs up. If if Microsoft does something right, I'll give them praise and. If Nintendo screws up, if if Microsoft screws up, I'll give them slack. That's how that's how I work in the gaming industry. This isn't a cheerleading channel. One thing that's that's that Jim Ryan did, it was one of his ideas, is he decided to do an update where if you want to confirm it it didn't affect a lot of people, but it did affect people. PSN users under the age of 18, which I experienced it. I'll tell you a story. It was la it was last year, 2020, which which is technically months ago, but it wasn't that long ago. Anyway, Sony with update 8.00, like. They did an update. The, contra the more controversial part is when Sony is going to listen to people's chats and other sorts of things. And they're going to ban people if you said an F word or say piss or poop or, or, or other sorts of things. Like, that caused a lot of controversy. But there is one thing that it wasn't as controversial but it did affect people. Like, user, like if you want... Like, Sony has this policy where if you want to have PSN users under the age of 18 are required to have parental controls, have an adult account controlling it. So, when I first created my PSN account, I created a dummy account, a fake account, that controls my PSN account. And it did a trick. So, and I set my parental controls to play as long as I want, play rated M games, watch rated R movies, and all that sorts of things. I did that. But then, it did think I can play games just fine. I can do everything just fine. I can get in PSN, I can download a game, I can do whatever the hell I want. That is until update 8.00 on the fall of of last year of 2020. I couldn't log in. I tried begging Sony. What's what's account? Help me access the account that's controlling mine. I created a dummy account. I need help. And they won't do it. Like. Because. They won't do it. Because like. Oh well. Because the reason why I can't log in. Because. The adult, the adult account has to confirm some new policies. They have to, like, parental controls should be optional.
Like, I tried getting... Like, no matter how old you are, you should be able to have an account have a Gmail, have a username, have a password, and move on. No matter how old you are. But not with PSN. It wasn't a big deal. I should have... What? It was technically my fault because... Like, I could have written the Gmail, written the password, and the user down on a piece of paper and hold, hold on to it. It was technically my fault. I couldn't recover that old account that I made, so... What I did was I do, I got rid of my PSN account and I got a new Gmail. I got a new. That was my only option. And I and I lost all of my trophies and all my achievements and I I lost I lost everything. All my gameplay progress. I lost everything. So. So any of my one hundred percent completion. I I never one hundred percent completed a game. But any of the stuff, my characters in games and all those other things, gone. I don't, I don't have them anymore. Like, this is my save file. Like, I don't have it anymore. I lost everything. I, I, have, to start I have to start a new one. And I just played a whole bunch of my, my PS4 games I haven't played in a while in order to get all that stuff get all the achievements back and that that was stupid but it but it worked it it worked um and then here I am now Sony is having some serious leadership problems and I think Jim I'm not crapping on Jim Ryan that much yet I do think he's an idiot I He's an idiot, but if if he does something right, if he if he he has he has a good chance to improve himself. But I might not call him an idiot, an idiot anymore if he learns from his mistakes and does something right. Then if he improves as a leader. Then I'll probably regret calling him an idiot or a dumbass or anything like that. But he, if he doesn't redeem himself, I won't forgive him. He had many chances, but he just won't. He just won't improve.